Sometimes when we're using Canvas, we want to bring some of the videos that we find in the modules into our in-person gatherings. So I'm going to show you that you can play those from the Canvas app, or you can notice that some of these videos are directly linked to YouTube. So to take this video, put it into a YouTube browser, I would click here on the YouTube. It would reopen it inside of the YouTube browser, which now gives me a little bit more control and options on how I want to present this video in class. I can share it to an email or copy it. I can put it wherever I need it to be. Um, I can show it on my phone. I can show it on my iPad. I can do a lot of different things with YouTube and YouTube's more flexible. You do have to be careful though that the church fire, church's firewall usually will not allow you to broadcast a YouTube video inside the church building. A lot of times I have to download it to my phone or computer using this button down here or I need to hotspot it. So using my phone as the network connection allows me to bypass the church's firewall to play YouTube videos. Another thing that you'll notice is that some of these videos inside these modules are not YouTube videos. For example, this video here is a church video embedded from the church website. So you won't be able to find this one necessarily on YouTube. So what I do here is I click on the share button. And when I get the share button, I get to copy the text here um, and then paste it in a new browser. And now I'm able to watch this from the church's website. Um, and I can have it this way. You'll also notice here is that there's a download function. So we, it, even if we don't want to share it or stream it into class, we can download this to our computer and share it. So if I click on the quality that I want to download it from, it'll open it up in that medium quality here on my browser. By clicking on the three dots here, I can hit download one more time, and it will download it into onto my computer so that I can um, open it and play it now without streaming or using an internet or network connection. Hopefully this helps you understand the different ways to bring a video that you found in Canvas into the classroom. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me.